What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is heavy versus light kettlebells in kettlebell sport training. And the reason I thought about this topic is I've been training exclusively with double 24 kilograms for the last couple months from home. And now that I've visited a fully equipped gym, I had to try how I'm doing with the heavier bells. So I did, now they just turned the light off. So it was just before closing time. So anyways, I've come across the heavier kettlebells and I just had to give them a go, right? So I did a set with double 32 kilograms and I posted it on a channel, just a sprint, really just a one minute set. And I did 16 reps, which was a PR. And here I did double 28s for five minutes. And I did 40 reps, which is also a huge PR. So the double 24 kilogram work, light quote unquote, has carried over tremendously to the heavy bells. And that's kind of the philosophy of kettlebell sport, right? You train with lighter weights until you can do a 10 minute set and lighter is a relative concept, of course, because for somebody that's going to mean they're going to do all their training with 32s. And for a beginner, it may be 16s. So if you contrast that with hard style training, where they just do the heaviest spells they can do for like three to five rep sets, that doesn't really carry over to the long sets. But I think the reverse is much more true. The long sets with lightweight carry over much more to the heavy sets. And that sounds counterintuitive if you're from a classical strength or powerlifting background, but we see that in kettlebells all the time that the best kettlebell sport lifters are usually also very, very good when it comes to heavy lifting. So for example, Hvastov does some amazing snatching with the 48 kilogram kettlebell. And I don't think any hard style guy at his body weight could replicate that or even come close. So that's kind of the philosophy of kettlebell sport. You're not trying to raise the ceiling, you're raising the floor, if that makes sense. That's something I have mentioned in another video that even Denise Vasiliev, who holds the world record in double 32 kilogram long cycle in, I don't know the exact weight class, but he did 101 reps. And even he starts his training cycles off with double 16 kilograms, which is very light. So in kettlebell sport, we definitely want to build a great base of working with lighter weights, but for high volume and with a high pace and ideally for long durations eventually. So for example, 10 minute set at a high pace with a light weight is going to ensure we're properly prepared for the heavy weights. But then we run into another issue and we see people who say, oh, you only should train with light weights or if you can't do 12 RPM on the chart, you shouldn't train with that weight. And I think that's complete BS too. And it comes from an incomplete understanding of the training methods of the concept of specificity. Because for example, at my body weight with double 32 kilograms, I wouldn't need to hit 12 reps per minute to become master of sport. It's a completely unrealistic expectation. And that's something I've noticed about how the Russians train is they tend to switch their training or gear their training towards 32s much, much earlier. So you can't even do CMS with 24s in Russia, like you can in the WKSF or IKO, for example. So once you hit rank one with 24s, it's on to preparing for 32s. And that's something I see a lot in the West is kind of this neurotic fear of heavy kettlebells, like, oh, I'm not ready. And then you get this really cringe personas like grown men who are way over a hundred kilograms in body weight call themselves kettlebell coaches and do jerks with exclusively double 12 and double 16 kilograms i mean it's of course ridiculous i'm rambling a bit at this point but i think the point i'm trying to make is yes you should bias lighter weight higher pace in your training but you need to at some point do some work with heavier bells, right? Because specificity. How are you ever going to move on to double 24s, 28s, 32s if all you do is 16s? 
All right, guys, that's the last wrap here. Check out my training program, Double Bell Domination, link in the description and see you guys next time.